friends, Nibs again. I wanted to get out to the uh, garage. It's, it's really cold outside, so I'm gonna stay working inside today. <clears throat> but I wanted to uh, get out and do a little testing and uh, give you guys an update on my uh, project that I've been working on for a little while now. This is my um, Daisy Model 102. It's actually a Daisy Hedden Model 102. Best I can tell, this one was made in uh, 1975, um, <clears throat> according to the product code. And uh, but I have uh, done quite a bit of uh, modifications to this one, and uh, it is uh, what I believe now achieved what uh, Shane Bruce over at Resto Mod Daisy calls Super Thumper. Uh, status. Uh, being a short barrel, uh, it's pretty impressive. So uh, when I got it, um, it was actually uh, bent right here, kind of in a U shape, and I was able to tear it all apart and very gently nudge the metal back into shape. Um, and it was crushed in on both sides, right here at the center, and. Uh, <clears throat> Some very gentle uh, wood metalworking uh, skills and got it back. It's definitely not going to be a showpiece ever, but it is nice and functional. So I decided that this one would be a good platform to uh, try some major modifications on. So <clears throat> what I did was a uh, uh, new abutment seal. Um, New main seal, new main plunger seal, <clears throat> a uh, cobalt 327 high power spring, also a cobalt 327 uh, 764 air tube, and then the uh, the big kicker that I did <clears throat> is I took a new production uh, model 25 shot tube cut it down to length so that it actually fits. These Model 102s, Model 101s, they're a junior size and the, the shot tube in those is uh, actually about right about th exactly three inches shorter than a standard uh, the standard size lever action that would normally accept a Model 25 shot tube. So um, I did do a group of shots off camera because, well, uh, my camera is also my cell phone, which is also where my Caldwell app uh, resides. So I did do a average group of that. I did have one shot that registered at 353 feet per second. Most of them were in the low to mid 40s, 340s. Uh, so being that this is such a, it's, it is three inch shorter barrel, so you get less time for. Uh, bullet to actually speed up so I, I think that uh, it's pretty impressive for that speed to be achieved here so um, I'll do a couple of shots on, on camera here just to still see what we get so that one was actually 329 349 37 so that would be about an average of about 340 right there but uh, that is pretty impressive from a little kid's toy that normally would do just over 200 when I <clears throat> when I first got this repaired using the original parts that were in it I was only registering actually below 200 because the plunger was pretty well worn it was not in terrible shape but it was pretty well worn so but anyway, uh, let's see, I got, uh, where's she at? Got little Stella out here with me. She's sniffing around looking for mice. And I got Mr. Fred over here sitting, waiting patiently for me to get done goofing around. But always fun having the dogs out in the garage with me, helping out. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm gonna make this one short and sweet. But uh, Shane over at Resto Mod Daisy, uh, 
looks like I have achieved uh, super thumper status with a with a youth model, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, we were, I think you were waiting for this update to come out with this one. So um, anyway, I hope you guys appreciate the video. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, the channel's growing great. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.